did I put my seatbelt on? Oh my god. Okay, I'm so sorry for the rough start to this video, but somehow I didn't realize that my phone holder thingy in my car was literally taking up half the shot. I truly don't understand how I didn't notice that. I'm so sorry. Just bear with me. I promise it's kind of a good video. I don't know. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Aria. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So in today's video, we are going to be glowing up for back to school because I go back in four weeks and... This is going to be a mental glow up as well as a physical glow up because I have not been doing the best recently. We're just not going to talk about it and but yeah, we are going to be mentally glowing up as well. Um, mostly a physical glow up because I do spend like 30 hours per week editing so I'm just always looking at my own face and you know what? I'm fucking tired of it. I, I want to look better. Ugh, oh God. Also, if I'm looking very red, it's because I have the AC off in my car right now. Even though it is 97 degrees out. Can't make that shit up. I guess you could. <laughs> you can't tell by the way that I'm acting. I'm really not doing well recently. It's fine. We're gonna glow up and we're gonna feel better about ourselves. We're gonna be doing a few different things. I'm gonna be tweezing my eyebrows, waxing my lip, shaving my face. We're gonna dye my hair. My mom's gonna dye my hair for me because she offered to and you know I just want like at least one thing in this video to go well. So I already filmed some before clips of what I'm looking like like without makeup on. I think I'm looking okay. My hair has definitely grown out a lot. My roots have grown out a lot. I want to get some self tanner because I am just so pale and I have not been outside all summer because I've just been doing summer classes. Ow! Oh my god, the seatbelt is so hot! That hurts so bad! Let's fucking go to Target, I guess. This intro is a mess. I'm so sorry. Guys, I'm literally so fucking stupid. <laughs> I I just parked at Target. I'm parked really far away because even though I have had my driver's license, well, actually I had my license for like two years, but even though I've been driving for like a year now, I still just hate parking next to cars. But so I just parked and like, I was trying to turn off my car and my car wasn't turning off. And I was like, literally what the fuck is wrong with it? Like it wouldn't, it just wouldn't shut off. Like I was turning it and nothing was happening. And I realized I was still in drive and I had not yet put my car in park. So we need to get hair dye, self-tan for my face, self-tan for my body, wax strips. We also need, what else do we need? Wait, I need white eyeliner, which I'll explain later. So I just have to hold it. It's really annoying. So my parents don't actually know about my YouTube channel, so getting footage of my mom dyeing my hair was interesting to say the least. Um, that's why you were getting these truly cinematic, groundbreaking angles. Wow. Um, Apparently my mom really likes this brand of hair dye, so if you're looking to dye your hair, maybe try this one. I don't know, she really seemed to know what she was doing. The whole process only took like 45 minutes, which I was really surprised by because it takes like four hours somehow at the salon. Okay, you guys, this is what my hair is looking like. I really like it. I think my mom did a really good job. Like it honestly looks and feels almost exactly the same as when I go to the salon. Yeah, I think my mom did a really good job. I really like it. I swear it like looks longer. My mom was saying that maybe that's because it's like a more consistent color. I was originally gonna maybe cut my own hair for this video and I still like want to have shorter hair but uh, my mom worked so hard to like make sure that the ends and the roots were the same color so I feel bad like chopping it all off and also I am just so worried that I'm gonna fuck it up somehow and I yeah I don't know it's definitely like longer than I would like it to be but I I don't know I also like kind of want to grow it out though I can't decide comment down below if you think that I should cut my own hair I kind of want to cut it to like here 
and honestly if enough people comment i'll probably do it so we're gonna take a little break from physically glowing up and do some mentally glowing up because i freaking need it because honestly i have not been doing the best this week it's been a bit of a roller coaster of emotions yeah we want to go into the new school year being as mentally strong as we can be because to be honest online classes are gonna screw up our mental health again and we just we need to be going in as strong as we possibly can so the first thing that we are going to be doing is going outside i know that sounds like kind of stupid but basically i am just like always in my room editing and filming which like don't get me wrong i love but I just feel like I never really do anything that's like just for myself and I actually love being outside. I love the heat. It's like 90 degrees right now and like I know I'm gonna regret saying that because it's I'm gonna get really sweaty and I'm gonna complain about it but I honestly just like love warm weather and I live really close like literally walking distance to some like beautiful trails and stuff so yeah we're just gonna go outside. Okay, apologies if I'm talking like really quietly. Somebody did just walk by, but I am like outside at this really pretty place by my house. I gravely underestimated how much this was gonna help me. Literally just like walking here, I just instantly felt better. Like I swear to God, I felt my serotonin levels go up. Like I really need to come outside more because this is really nice. It is really hot and I am really sweaty, but I've just been like sitting and just like looking at the trees. Like at first I was kind of mad at myself because I forgot my headphones. I was gonna just like listen to music while I walk, but honestly, it's really nice to just like hear nature and stuff and um, just look at the trees and like where I am right now, the light is just like really pretty on the creek. I really, I should like go on a walk every day. That would probably help me feel a lot better. <laughs> um, so the next part of our mental glow up is taking the time to actually read. I haven't read a book in probably over a year, which makes me really sad because I used to enjoy reading so much. My mom and I also spent all last weekend building this bookshelf. Doesn't it look great? It took us like seven hours. Anyways, as part of my mental glow up, I really just wanted to take the time to do things just for me and my happiness. And one of those things is reading. So if you're like me and you've recently fallen out of reading and you're trying to get back into it, I would recommend reading rereading something that you love. I chose to start rereading Harry Potter. I think I've read the Harry Potter series like probably three or four times. I used to be strongly against rereading books. I was always like, what's the point? Like you already know exactly what happens. But I think it's really great for if you've fallen out of reading because it can be nice to read something that you know you're gonna love. Another thing I've been doing for just my general health is trying to eat healthier and drink water. If you know me like at all in real life, you know that I am absolutely terrible at drinking water. I probably average maybe one glass a day. Yeah, it's really bad. Okay, now back to making me look pretty. Next thing we're going to be doing is tweezing my eyebrows and then like just overall hair removal on my face. So I haven't tweezed my eyebrows in like all of quarantine, so probably like five months or something. Um, so they are really grown out and they just need to be shaped. The method that I use to tweeze my eyebrows is I take, first of all, it helps if you like know how you like to do your brows, so I just like have mine filled in. And then I take a white eyeliner pencil and I outline the shape of my brow that I want and then I only tweeze on the white outline. I don't tweeze anything else and that keeps you from over tweezing. I look kind of crazy. I'm just gonna do these off camera real quick because it's really not gonna be that interesting to just watch me tweeze my eyebrows so I will see you in a second. Okay, you guys, I just finished tweezing my brows. Um, does anybody else get like such a bad headache after they tweeze their eyebrows or is that like just me? I definitely didn't do them perfectly because honestly, I just got kind of bored, but they look so much better. Also, I think when I was taking off the white eyeliner, I like took off some of my filled in brow. So sorry about that. The next thing we're going to be doing is just shaving my face, I guess. So I bought this at Target. I didn't read like the reviews or anything, so I don't, I don't know if it's good. We're gonna try it. Um, I usually, like for like my lip, I usually wax my lip using these and I bought these just in case this doesn't work. I have no idea how to use this. Um, oh my gosh. I'm not gonna show you what my lip looks like up close cause I'm actually really embarrassed by it. Okay, wait, 
how do you do this? I should probably read the instructions more. I think I just nicked myself. <laughs> I feel like this doesn't work. It might kind of work. I don't know. Okay, I ended up doing a lot of that off camera because it was just taking a really long time. I think I got most of the hair. I might have to like just follow it up with another wax strip or something. I don't know how I feel about this. First of all, the light is like really blinding. Like every time I look at it, I'm like, Ooh. I don't know. I feel like in the future, I'll probably just keep waxing. It just seems easier. It feels like with this, you have to like get like a really like specific angle to get it to a really specific angle to get it to work. So it either like just doesn't do anything or it's like a little bit too sharp and also I just feel like it'd be really tedious to like try and shave your whole face. I don't know how people do that. I don't know. Comment down below if you like these things and how you use them. I will see you for our next step. So for my hair, I wanted to do something different than I usually do. So I just washed it and then I waited till it was like almost dry and put my hair in these braids. And then when I took them out, I had these really nice waves. They only lasted for like a half hour, but you know what? That was long enough to film this video. So for my makeup, I really didn't do anything different. I just did the usual, except now my face is like way darker, obviously. So my concealer isn't really the right shade. I don't know why it didn't occur to me that this is gonna happen. Anyways, if you guys want a makeup routine, I will totally do one, just let me know. And here is the final blow up. So I actually ended up having to film this part of the video at night because my parents don't know about my channel, so planning can be kind of difficult, but I decided to just roll with the nighttime vibes and kind of do like a night out look, even though obviously none of us are going out anytime soon. Anyways, I have this gorgeous pale pink wrap top that I never wear, but every time I do, I'm like, damn, I should really wear this more. The sleeves are absolutely ridiculous. They remind me of the sleeves on Game of Thrones. They're super fun and definitely a statement. I paired this top with a denim skirt and belt and these wedges that I only showed for like 0.2 seconds, I'm sorry. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing this glow up process. I definitely feel a lot better about myself, both physically and mentally. I'm sorry so much of this video ended up being voiceover. Like I said, um, my parents don't know about my channel and it's kind of becoming an issue. If you made it to this point in the video, seriously, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!